video walks you through Dropbox, which is an application that can be used uh, with the iPad and also many other devices, including desktops, um, laptops, uh, pretty much anything that you need to move files into and between. So uh, this particular version is explaining what Dropbox is on the iPad and how you can use it, uh, but understanding Dropbox and the service and what it does can help you do lots of other things as well. Um, because I'm doing this on an iPad, I will uh, use my mouse here just to show you what I'm clicking on as I as I click on things, or I'll at least attempt to do so. Um, let's get into the application first, and we can work from there. Um, basically, understanding what Dropbox is. Dropbox is a cloud service, which means that um, where the files are actually stored is not someplace physical that you need to manage. It's someplace uh, up in the cloud, meaning some other major data storage warehouse someplace else. And um, the idea behind Dropbox is that I can take files from my computer, from my laptop, from my phone, from my iPad, um, and put them all into one common storage drive, or, or perhaps in the school district walk show, we better understand that as a common H drive, um, where all of my files can live in one place. And no matter what device I'm at, no matter where I'm at, I can get to those files. Um, pretty nice little feature to be able to use and has a lot of different functionality from just your own personal productivity to actually maybe even creating a Dropbox account that your students could submit work to and share with each other in. So lots of different options and ways to use it. And really, that's all that Dropbox is. There are other services that do similar things. Google Drive is one of them um, that does something very similar. Box is another one. Um, so it's not necessarily the, a question of, is this the only thing that can do it? It just happens to be one that's pretty widely accepted and has grown, uh, and lots of different app developers and devices are, are really finding it as a useful way to uh, create workflows. And that's really on the iPad what we want to talk about is how do we create a workflow for a student or a teacher that moves applications and software and uh, movies and all sorts of different pictures and all sorts of different files to different places um, easily. Because we know that one of the limitations of the iPad is the difficulty of getting files uh, to and from that device, especially in an educational setting where you might be on a cart model where lots of different kids are sharing the same um, iPad. So Dropbox is one solution, not the only solution, not the end-all be-all, but one solution that might make that work a little bit easier. Here you can see that I am in my Dropbox drive here and there are some of my um, some of my different uh, files that are available here. Um, you can see that I've got some things like camera uploads and files that I've created here. Um, you've also got things like Drop It To Me, which is a service that you can create that accesses your Dropbox and allows you uh, to give students the address and they go to the Drop It To Me site and they can actually drop files there um, for you to, that'll pop into your Dropbox. So lots of different things. You'll see a shared files folder down here and a public files folder. So. Um, more things that you can do with that uh, as far as being able to you know, make files public that other people can have access to. Um, really a, a pretty complete service. Now let's get into what this actually is on the iPad here. Um, we can, let's pull up one of these very quickly here. So this is one of the files and you can see that not, more than just a file holder, it's also a way for us to uh, to view some of things like a PDF or um, let's see what other files I might have in here that might be helpful. Um, sure, let's see what that one is. Geometry Honors. Uh, here's a Word document. So there is some functionality just for being able to view these files right from Dropbox on your iPad pretty easily. Of course, I probably picked it. one that's a little bit too large there. There you can see another one that's popped up. Um, and how to use photos and all sorts of things like that. But that's not really the power of Dropbox. What I'm more interested in being able to do is getting things out of Dropbox. And so what I'm gonna do is click this button and you can see that from Dropbox, I can email it, text it, do all sorts of different things with it from there. But probably more importantly, 
I can print it from here or I can open it. And with the iOS 6 update, I can now open this in different apps. This happens to be a rich text file. And so the, here are my options for opening rich text files in uh, from Dropbox. So I've got it here. I perhaps got it here from my PC at home last night. And now I can open it on my iPad and Goodreader or some other application and do something with it. Sure, that's fine. All right, so you, you kind of get the idea there. Now we're in a different app, and basically we have used Dropbox to get there. I'm going to show you another way that you can take things. So we're going to work in Keynote, which is the uh, effectively the PowerPoint of the Apple world. And here I've, I've worked on, let's just get into one of the dummy ones that I've got here. I've worked on this presentation. Boy, it looks good, and I am ready to do something with it like get it other places and do interesting things with it. So I need to turn this into somebody or I need to send it home, uh, something like that. So what I'm gonna do is I am just clicking on this. Here I'm gonna select the, the file I wanna work with. I am going to click this button in Keynote. So notice we're not in Dropbox right now. And then I can open this in another app. What format do you want to work with it in? Again, this is a feature of Keynote, not Dropbox. But if I've got PowerPoint at home, it's going to convert that Keynote file to a PowerPoint because I don't have Macs at home, so that doesn't do me much good, but I need to still work on this at home, and I don't have an iPad at home. Then it says Choose App, so I'm going to click Choose App, Open in Dropbox. Probably take a moment here to do that. It's going to pull up the Dropbox app. I'm going to have a chance to edit it and edit the name of it. Just give me a second. Work from class. And I click Save. And you can see there that I am uploading the file to Dropbox. And when I get all done uploading it from Dropbox, I can go uh, to any machine and uh, I'm presently working on a Mac here, pull up my Dropbox folder, and I'll find work in from class. Um, and I can continue my work there on my PowerPoint at home. Upload it back to Dropbox, and I can show it to my teacher tomorrow on this screen here, or on my iPad, and, and even present to the class that way. So that's the power of Dropbox, and lots of things you can do with it. One of the other things that I'm going to show, I'm working down here in the Settings tab, and that is the ability to log in and log out from Dropbox, unlink iPad from Dropbox. When I do that, it basically logs me out of Dropbox, and the next student in line who might need to use this iPad does not have access to all my files and can use their own Dropbox, upload files to it, and it works just the same. It'll be available to them when they log into Dropbox later under their unique account. Uh, only limitations you'll see at the onset is that with Dropbox, you get a two gig uh, introductory limit for free, absolutely free. I've been a Dropbox uh, free user for a number of years uh, without any issue. And then you can increase that by spreading the word about Dropbox. So I believe I'm up to about 3.2 gigs of Dropbox storage just by spreading the word and having people click the link. So uh, free service worth trying and it does solve some of those workflow issues that uh, you might experience either working on a tablet device such as an iPad or an Android tablet, uh, phone. Um, the beauty is it gives you access to your files anywhere provided you use the service with some regular regularity and you save your your necessary files there. So that is Dropbox. Thanks for listening.